might have something coming towards us at uh, 11, 10 30, 11 o'clock. There he is, right there. Is he coming towards 12 us? 12 o'clock? Is yep. he coming towards us? He's facing to the left, kind of he... coming towards us though. Yeah, that's him. You see him? Nice. Coming right up to your fly. Ticket, yep. He, he turned on your fly, right there. After finding some success the day prior, we were starting to get yep. things figured out. Yep, yep. There he is. Dude, dude. Oh, is. my gosh. Junior and Rob had closed it out the night before with back-to-back -back fish. So it was my turn to get back on the bow. Due to the inclement weather, however, we had been forced to cancel our second night of camping. But we still had two more days to explore the low country, and we weren't going to let the weather hold us back. All right, back on the water this morning, fishing. What is the third flood tide now that we fished? Fourth. Fourth. We're fishing another flood tide today. That's the main main key. We're just waiting on the water to come up, but it's supposed to be raining right now, and it's sunny out. So cross your fingers that it keeps that up, and it gets them up after last night. With the sun coming out to play today, our visibility was much, much better. And within minutes of pulling up to the flat, we had a fish in sight. See that tail? Look, point your rod out. Point your rod out. Go left. Right there. See that rings out there? Oh, oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Yep, yep, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he going He's right? He's going to the right. Yep. See, there's his back. There's his back. Ah. Scotty just landed just on this side of him. Let it sit, don't move it. See how he's, stop, stop, stop. See how he's moving as you're, pick it up, go to the right of him again, just to the right of him. Remember, he's about two feet long. Great cast, great cast. Tick it, little tick, little tick, just a little tick, yep, tick. Did he, he oh, he's chasing it, go slow, go slow. He was chasing you. Pick it up, put it right in front of him again. He was chasing you, you're just going a little fast. Great cast. You see the fish, bring it in front, bring your fly to his path. Wait. Now, tiny little tick, tiny ticks, tiny ticks. Yep, jiggly, yep, just, oh my God. Oh boy, that a boy, that a boy. Dude, that was crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was wild. Oh no. no. Oh. Damn it. What happened? What happened? Oh, the fly oh. just came out? Yeah, the fly came out. I was trying to, oh. I was trying to, I too much slack. Dude, that was the coolest thing. Oh my gosh, dude. That fish launched forward. Dude, and so I... We saw the tiny little like, had you stripped it, it would have been out of his sight. Mm -hmm. Those tiny little, you got his attention. Oh, Dude, man. best scene of the trip. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> that was dope. It felt big. It was a big fish. That was, a, I mean, I, I saw his back come out of the water enough times to tell you that was an upper 20s fish. Yeah. For sure. Damn. You have to be 100% present in order for you to catch that fish. You just like forget about everything else. I've got a fish at, I believe I have a fish over here at one o'clock. Looking for a tail. You like you forget about all this other stuff leading up to that moment. And it's no one's gonna make that cast for you. You know, you have the guy in the back and a pitch in the best position as he, as he possibly can. But at the end of the day, it's you and the fish. There he is. He's coming into range, big fish.
before or after this grab? On the other side, just oh, on the him. other side. I see him. Put it on the left hand side of him. Left. He's two boat lengths out. Yep, right there. Do you see him? Yeah. Perfect. Just to the left of him. Nice cast. Start, no, that's perfect. That's perfect. Strip, strip, strip. Tiny ticks. Go, go, go. Make it move. He, oh my God, Scott's on fire. Scotty's on fire. Scotty is on fire. Rod tip up. Rod tip up. Yep. Keep it because he's plowing through that grass. You got to keep your line above yep. that grass. Scotty is on fire oh, this morning. Dude. Holy smokes. <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. Yep. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh like boy, that yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Let me uh, what do you, what let me I get do? over there. Just keep keep it tight. Keep it tight. tight. I gotta go over there. I gotta go that way. Hold on. There you go. Lift, lift. Come to the back of the boat. Not the same side. Keep it tight. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. He's in the getting in the trim tabs is the problem. Where's the net at? Yes! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. I have him. him. Here, go up there. Dude, we got him. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. What an eat. It's got his first like real tailor. I can see his <laughs> <laughs> There he is. He's gone. He was ready to go, man. Gosh, boys. Awesome shot, man. Good start to the day. Junior, I might have a fish swimming subsurface just to the right at a. Uh, now 12 o'clock. He's right there. I just, I, I oh, I see him now. Okay, he's coming out. Yep, going to the left. How far? You got him. He's right there. I'm stuck on something. I'm stuck on something. Drop, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Tick it. Little ticks. Oh, it's two fish. Oh man, and one bumped the other one. Great cast. Oh, bump that, bump that. He's gone. It's weird how they can be so happy, absolutely happy to where they'll just launch forward and crush a fly. And then you move a hundred yards and the fish is like, man, not playing this game. To the right, right again. Yep, that's him right there. Tight against the grass. Let me see what he does real quick. There's your shot. Is he left? Facing right? left. Facing left. He's facing left? Yes. Great shot. He's coming out at the boat, just to the left of your fly. Just to the left of your fly, fly by like four feet. He turned on your fly, right there. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when he was tailing when that fly like, laid down, where did it go? Real close. Like he was up, his Pretty tail was up, him. so you put it real close to him. And the next thing we knew, he was tailing towards us. God dang. What has always been intriguing about the low country and red fishing in general is the quietness of it. Unlike hearing the constant flow of a river, there's a certain stillness you experience while scanning the flats from the bow. You feel more in tune with the landscape and the sounds that do surround you. And in some cases, you can even spot fish by hearing their disturbance. All right. Is he facing that way? I, I think so. He's happy. Hit him, Junior. Come in this way a little bit. He's going to the left, though. Yep. 
I think he's going to caddy corner away from us still. Let me try to, yep, see him there? Caddy, he's paralleling your line. Yes, there you go. He ate it. He ate oh, it. he ate it. He ate it. Let's he go. ate it. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I could. I saw it. And I was like, did he spook? Oh, did he's he? going. What's going on there? Oh, there we go. Dude, I heard him slurp. I said he ate it. I don't know how good he's hooked because he just. Yeah, I know. Dude, it was I, a very the, soft... I could see it almost on the edge of the grass. He went. <laughs> I could hear it. I could literally physically hear him go. And I said, oh, he's oh, on. That was a crazy. See ya. boy. Boy, it's good teamwork, man. Awesome. GoPro, stop recording. Rob, appreciate the push. Hell yeah. Yeah, boy. That's awesome. Oh Scotty, I appreciate the positive reinforcement. That was much needed. Let's get to it. We probably want to pull out of this and hop down to some other pockets. The water's starting to fall pretty quick. We are gonna try to capitalize on the last little bit of time that we have in the flood tide today. You have to be really careful though when the water's falling because you don't wanna spend the day, the boat beached on a flat up here waiting for the tide to come back at like uh, 10 o'clock tonight. So yeah, you don't wanna do that. I'm gonna chill, chill here for a second, see if we can see one. And then if not, hightail it, turn around. That's what I'm thinking. Pick up and go. Yeah, see him tailing? See him tailing? Yeah, he's tailing. He's right there. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm stuck on this hump though. I know. You waiting? Possibly. You're gonna have to probably, I mean, unless I can get through this. You aren't getting through this. Say, so, if I do, I'm gonna get stuck. He's coming. He's coming, Rob. He's coming. He's coming. Where is he at? Dead straight still. Be careful, he's probably pretty spooky. Oh, I got you. And be careful with the feet. Where is he at? Looks like he's dead 12 still. He turned right, I see he him. He turned right, you see his tail? He did turn right, he's tailing. He's in some tall stuff though. Oh, there he is. I could have stayed in the boat. It's a lot cooler with you outside the boat. Is he on to the right? There he is. I got him. Here he is. Oh, are you serious? Ooh. Hold on, hold on, he's right here. Oh. Dude, he looked, he literally looked at the fly. That's sick. No, no, he just, the fly was up on the, like it's hard, when the grass is this tall, it's hard to get the fly down to him. But the fly was right there, he literally came up to it, looked at it, and then spooked off the side. Oh, my legs are shaking. My knees are shaking. <laughs> As the flood tide came to an end, we made our way to a local restaurant to fuel up on some food. A little brunch action. I gotta go with the fried chicken and waffles. We're in the south, gotta go fried chicken. Rob, what are you gonna go with? Fried chicken and waffles. What are you going with? Fried chicken and waffles. It's <laughs> the only way to do it. Come on, man. Number two. Sure. Dude, yes. Oh, no, they left me. Oh. Dude. That's incredible. With 
chicken and waffles in our system, we were ready to get back on the water. We had been unsuccessful on the low tide so far, but Rob had a few more spots up his sleeve that he wanted us to check out. It's time to get back after it. A little low tide action. We've moved spots now. It's finally calm enough where we can kind of push along these, these sand flats. And uh, we got some sun, which is great because that helps our visibility. Gets kind of deep there. Oh, dude, I may have fish over here on the right. Yeah, there's fish. That's fish. Holy crap. Big school of fish. I can't tell which way they're going, but you want to do a long cast, dude. 12 o'clock. If you see one of those flashes again, pick it up and put it directly in front of that flash. Great cast, right out there. Killer cast, the fish are right in that area. Strip. Here's fish, 12 o'clock. Oh, go, 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 strip it right in front of them. Yep, keep going. Just go slow, they're right there. How did they not eat it? Dude, there's a huge school of fish. Start, great cast, start stripping. Just get one of those fish to, to eat. Oh my gosh, that was a huge school. Right. How Can't did they me. not get a fish? They were right in front of me. Yeah. And and I, like in my casting zone, and I yes. stripped it right in front of their face. No, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's just a wall of rain coming towards us. We could hear it. Here it is. Dude, that's crazy. With the wind picking up and a bit of a storm developing, we were forced to move into the creeks. Actually, he's much closer. He's much closer. Yep, right there. Yes. Take it, take it. Just like the days prior, we saw plenty of fish chasing bait, but we couldn't get any to commit to our flies. Great cast. There you go, work that, yep. Oh, dude, she's back out of the water. It's amazing how with almost the flip of a switch, the fishing can completely turn off. Well, the downside of fishing the creeks is that you don't, there's one way in and one way out. So if there aren't any fish back there, now you gotta pull all the way out. The reality of fishing, and especially saltwater fishing, is you go through a roller coaster of ebbs and flows. That's the part of fishing that I love. If it was all, dude, we just go out there and we just slay fish and we're always catching fish. I wouldn't like it anymore. I would go find something else to do. We were shocked we hadn't connected with a single low tide fish. It had been discouraging and was testing our patience. But if we had learned anything on this trip, it was that you have to keep your head up through the low moments because you never know when the next opportunity with a fish will arise. fishing the last flood of the trip. We got some interesting clouds and interesting weather developing behind us. That rain cloud's like coming. <laughs> Let's see if we can beat it. Dude, this is great. Whew. Now that we're stopped, this is. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on with the come on. <laughs> Woo. There's something about that grind, the lows, and then the highs that keep bringing me back. Pick it up and go right. Yeah. Just kind of going away from me. Pick, go right, more right, more right. Uh, you're behind it. He's, he's a little bit, pick it up, pick it up, pick, pick your line. He's going away from you. See so see him snaking away? Great cast. You know, we deal with all these factors and we grind our tails off. And then for it to end, like, like all it takes is that, like that short window. Go for it. He's going right now. A little bit more. Yep, lead him. 
lead him a little bit. Strip, 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 strip. Oh, wait for it. Your fly went right over top of him. Put it out in front of him again. Where's he going, left or to right? To the left. For now. Wait for it, wait for it. Don't move, don't move. He's coming towards us. Yep, yep, take it, take it. Strip. There you go, take it. Little tick. Oh, dude, he's caught in that grass. He was about to come in my zone and I got f***ing caught. <laughs> That's fishing. We were really grinding there for, for a bit. Not just with the fishing, just all of it. The sand fleas came out to play today, boys. But I mean, once you see that tailing fish 30 feet away, all those go out the window, dude. It's just such a, like a, like it's such an awesome moment. Put it right up against that thick grass. He's going to travel right along it. Just to the right. More to the right. Start stripping. Wait for it, wait for it. Tick, 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 tick. Dude, there he is. Dude, yes. Dude, keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was awesome, dude. Great feed. Yeah. Great feed. Finally, oh, there's another one. <laughs> They were giving you some tough shots Dude. this morning. They're like, hey, this guy, he thinks he's got it figured out. We're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna test him. Look at that, he's oh. Yep, yep. Come here. Oh, dude, that's a nice Sick. fish. <laughs> Look at the tail, dude, it's so cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Got a little lettuce Come there on. for him? Come on now. So sick, dude. <laughs> Dude, that is beautiful. That's awesome, dude. Look at that tail. <laughs> <laughs> my, release, my releases are not great. might have something coming towards us at 10:30, 11, 10, 11 o'clock, possible. There he is right there. Is he coming towards 12 us? 12 o'clock. Yep. Is he coming towards us? He's facing to the left, kind of he coming towards us though. Yeah, that's him. You see him. Okay, coming towards us. Right at that little island of grass. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's there, he's there. He's going to the left, do you see him? Right here? Dude, I, I'm pointing the pole at him, he's right there. He's traveling from right to left. The yep, yep, that's right. him right, I'm pointing the pole at him. You see is him, right? Is he tailing? Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Uh, he's coming, it looks like he's coming that way. Hey, as long like, as you him, can see him. him, right? Yeah, I see him. All right, let's let you feed him. Nice. Coming right up to your fly. Take it, yep. He missed it. I lost sight I of him. I see him, I see him, I see him. It's really hard to see him. He's like right there. Oh, dude, oh, so spooky. Dude, I mean, he was right there, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. With the tide falling, we decided to head to one more spot. And as we were driving by, Rob spotted something out in the distance. Oh, that is a tail. Full on tailing. I mean, maybe it's nothing, but I saw something move some water while we were running by. He's there, Rob. He's right there, Sam. Is that him tailing right there? Yeah, he's moving pretty quick. Sweet. Keep, you keep watching him. I got to navigate my way through here. There he is, yeah, yeah right there. Yeah, yeah, more like my one. Pushing through. There he is. Coming towards us. Yeah. 
Yep. Dude, yes. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> good cast, but he would just, he turned just a smidget. Is that him just past you? Do we have 100% where he's at? Yeah. Oh, dude, he just ate it. Got him. He just ate it? Yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. How's that for your 100%? How's that for your 100%? Do we yes. still have him? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. That was sick. Just eats it off the grass. Oh, that's a nice that's fish. That's pretty sick. That's a really nice fish. That is a bit. Look at him. Dude, that's such a nice fish. He's got some nice color to him. So yeah, that's a nice fish. This might be the biggest fish of the trip. Oh man. Oh man. Come on, this way. This is a really nice flood tide fish, man. Such a pretty fish. All right, brother, thanks for playing. Have a good Monday. See ya. Dude, that was so dude, awesome. Dude, dude, that fish was huge. That was so awesome. <laughs> this he was waving at us as we were running by. Miles an hour we're, past the I was like, like uh, I think that's, that's a tail. tail. Yeah, I think that's a tail. <laughs> The more you fish, the less it is about the fish. The more you go out there and the more experiences that you have, the places that you travel to and the people you meet, fish are just a, a cherry on top. It's the excuse we make for going out there in the first place. It's the thing that supposedly that we're out there for, but it's so much more. Ultimately, that's probably why everyone gets into it is for the fish. Like that first time you go fishing, nothing else matters. It's about the fish I catch. Yes, will we remember those fish that we caught? A thousand percent. But we will never forget about, <laughs> forget about the trek, the camping, all those exterior things that, that we got to experience before, that, before we even got a fish to hand. Cool, man.